leaky pipes to rats, more families who live in Durham public housing are speaking out about their concerns with the living conditions in their homes. Tonight, one mother says she was left without a working stove for days with no way to feed her children. CBS 17's Crystal Price is digging deeper into repair delays and how the Durham Housing Authority plans to address it. I was hungry yesterday. I had very, very bad stomach pains, and I have not been hungry in a long time. Azaria Lunsford tells me she was left with no way to cook for her four children for three days. After she says the Durham Housing Authority delivered her a stove on Thursday that didn't work properly. I smell just this horrible smell. She says the smell of burnt oil came from her stove, setting off the smoke alarms. She called the fire department, and they told her it was not safe for her to use her stove or her oven. It was like a replay of last January. She says it was a year ago this week that they found high levels of carbon monoxide emitting from her stove that she had back then. They're like, oh my goodness, are, are we dying in here slowly and not knowing it? It was on Friday when she notified a maintenance worker she saw on property about the issue. He told he told me he was coming right over. She says she waited for four hours and he never showed up. She called DHA again on Saturday and Sunday, but no one came. It wasn't until she called CBS 17 and after I called the Durham Housing Authority that they finally sent someone over. She's demanding DHA do a better job of responding to issues like this. But while you're at home with your family and getting to enjoy your Sunday, me and my family are over here starving. Would you want to live there? Um, we have an ongoing struggle with the repairs, and, and there, some of that is, is straight on DHA, and those are the things that we are fixing. Anthony Scott, CEO of the Durham Housing Authority, says there is a backlog of work orders, and that with their current work order reporting system, some work orders have not been properly tracked. That's why they will be contracting with a third-party call service to create one hotline residents can call to file a work order. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. All right, Crystal, thank you. Now, Scott says they've also hired more than 30 temporary maintenance workers to help them get caught up on these repairs. But he says it will be another two months before they get this maintenance hotline up and running.